Well, welcome to this episode of Liberty Creek. On this episode, Jen and I are up at the cabin again. Uh, it's a little chilly up here. The chill is in the air. So it's Saturday, probably around 11 o'clock in the afternoon. We got up here around 10 and we're going to go directly start working on the ceiling. We got to get this buttoned up. I'm not sure how much wood we have, but we're gonna to try to use up the rest of what we have and see how far we get. Problem was, um, Jen and I went over to a Home Depot last week and we picked up about eight more pieces and they must have had about 100 pieces and there was only eight pieces that were worth the money. They're all just crap wood. Just cracks, knots, gouges, um, it looks like probably all the stuff that I brought back, they just put back on the shelf. Um, Jennifer actually went by herself to a different Home Depot yesterday after work, and she grabbed another 12. She grabbed 12 out of... There was supposedly 98. There was 98 of them <laughs> in stock in the store, and she found 12. Um, so we have a few. We have a few from before. I have a few up in the loft. Um... And we'll see what we could get done. But that's what we're doing up here today. Because it's supposed to rain all day. So we'll be up here. We already sat around, hung out for a little while. We got a fire going to warm it up in here. Right now it's uh, 66 degrees in here. It's not bad, but it's like damp. Yeah, and well, six, it was only 60 before. Yeah, it was, it's 60 outside. So she warmed it up a couple degrees. And we're going to do some work on the ceiling. I did bring up pipe. To run the gas line i'm not sure if i have everything i need but tomorrow when it's supposed to be nice out i'm going to cut the grass i'm going to work a little bit more on uh, some of the small trees in the back here and i'm going to go underneath and see if i can start running that gas line and start prepping for winter i'm going to have to drain the tanks i'm going to have to take off the hot water heater and come follow along let's see what we can do and yeah, let's get at it. So I got up here last night, the, um, the batteries ran down and so I had to run the generator. They'll be charged in about an hour. And definitely, definitely soon going to get a second battery. So expensive. They want, you know, $2,000 for a, a second battery. It's ridiculous. But uh, I've been saving. I know we needed another battery. Um, the, to max out with this system, I think you're going to get two extended batteries and um we definitely need another one and that may or may not work again i believe that i have to see what happens in the winter i might have to you know take it all home it's portable take it all home for the winter not sure if the batteries will freeze up here what would happen if they did freeze maybe i have to try to put some type of heat um into this the little utility room see what happens I don't know um, if you have any information about you know these um, systems freezing up leave it down in the comments because it does get down to zero degrees and there's nothing going to be heating that room unless I install something and then that's secondary fuel and I'll probably eat through that pretty quickly but we'll see what happens I might have to just pack that up and bring that home until the winter's over so I'm going to pull the ladder out from the side here and bring it in the house and set up and get my cut station going and let's get to work. All right, so we got the ladder set up and uh, Jen and I are about to actually mask up for something um, that we really need masks for. And uh, because last time I was inhaling, <laughs> Jeff thought it was funny. It wasn't funny. I, I kid you not, I think I actually... A piece fell. It was like cotton candy. I turned and I was talking and went 
right down my throat last time. I was hacking up a storm. Um, so go ahead and wear some protective uh, items like a mask, uh, mask, mask. mask, glasses, do it all. got a one percent of battery remaining on this one but uh it's slow going because we got to start cutting the holes for the lights it's a pain in the butt um yeah there's simpler ways of doing it i'm not doing it that way and now i just lost i think i did well no i didn't i thought i froze up um yeah so I'm gonna bring you back in a minute or two jen's gonna start making me some uh, cast iron pizza it's warming up in here just aggravation and uh it is now 73 degrees so we're gonna let the fire die down and up and down this ladder but it's slowly coming together you can see we have finished this row started putting up that row and then ran into the light and uh that slows everything down so let me stay at it i'll bring it back when i'm completed see you in a minute folks so you just saw jen and i put up some of uh, sealing pine tongue and groove and it's been a long day it's already dark outside i just cleaned up we cleaned up everything jennifer just ran the vacuum i had the generator running all day um wasting gas i gotta go shut that off put the batteries back on because the battery's been charged i just then switch back over but it's been that kind of day we got cabin fever folks so i can't wait can't wait for tomorrow it is still raining it's been raining all day and i want to get out there cut the grass i want to do things outside but today we we're stuck inside and you guessed it we worked on the ceiling look at look at look what what oh one side is almost completely done we're missing the two boards right up there and then the other side over here you can see we have a couple more to go about i think uh, i think we said about like 42 eight more rows. eight rows so i don't know i'm not doing math right now but uh i have to go it's a three-day weekend for jen and i and we've been going all day we woke up this morning at i don't know 6 30. we got up here around 10 and we set up and we started throwing this uh boards on the ceiling and if you're a long time follower you know i've been dreading this moment and it's almost finished and it's just it is it is a difficult chore especially to do um by yourself or just jen and i are working together jen don't like to be up on the ladder but i need the other hand and i couldn't get anybody to come up and help me but it's getting done it's getting done slowly but it's getting done and uh soon that will be all covered up and no more ugly insulation. I know I had so many negative comments and people complaining about me to cover up the ceiling and now it's happening. Oh, finally. And then I'll work on the walls. The walls, this is gonna be easy. It's just some miter cuts and it'll go, it'll go right up. I could do that by myself, no problems. Um, I just need to find some good pine, folks. Some good pine. So we've been at it all day. It's seven o'clock. Uh, Jen was gonna make me dinner. She made me pizza for lunch. I don't. I only eat carbs, I think, at the cabin. So I'm like, whew. She's like, well, you don't have to have dinner. You wanna, wanna make up some fried dough? Like, fried dough, yes. 
I'll take a piece of fried dough, watch a little TV. So that's what we're gonna do. I bought these, I just turned the bathroom fan on to get more light. I just bought these and um, it's supposed to be fillers. So I got that little sticker too. But because I have this, I don't like that. I wanted to see if I could uh, fill it in. I said, they must sell something. And so I found this. We'll see what happens. See if it fits. I would think. Let me take this out of the way. I think it's just like. Jennifer's yelling at me and saying, There's electricity in that box right now. Shouldn't be messing with it. Oh, is that it? Oh, wow. That's it. Wow. That was easy. Looks so much better. So. If your breaker box looks like mine, I'm not sure what happened there. Well, that is some gas line I got. Um, I didn't buy like the 10 footers because I'm trying to make it to the hole that I need to go up into the cabin with. So <clears throat> I am going to get underneath the cabin to see if I could lay some of that pipe and um, so I don't have multiple propane tanks um, feeding the cabin. I, I'll have one area that'll have the tanks and I'm piping throughout the bottom of the cabin. Basically, one feeds the um, stove and one will uh, feed, the same line will feed the, uh, the, the wall heater there, the propane wall heater and that same line will feed the hot water um instant hot water heater i don't think i have all the hardware for all three of them my main thing is just to get the stove and to get the propane heater right now on the same line because i am going to be removing the hot water heater because by the time i get up here next time we will probably have freezing temperatures and if you let that unit freeze with water inside it you're buying another unit um unfortunately i don't have a spot where i can mount it inside or anything like that to keep it warm warm enough because you know sometimes in winter i'll get up here and i'll go inside and it's negative one degree out and inside it's negative one degree out so that it's not good for a lot of things including solar batteries and i know i already talked about that so i don't know about this battery um if I'm going to be able to keep the solar up in the winter, I might have to go straight back to generator only when we come up to visit. So that kind of sucks because I really like monitoring the cabin when we're not up here. There was a wicked storm that came through last night. Um, I guess it was like a hurricane, but when it hit us, it's downgraded to a tropical storm or just a, a bad storm. I really wasn't following it on the, on the television, but it was noisy the winds whipping through here were very strong it was knocking crap all around woke up a couple times had to come out here and check on like the cooler we thought maybe um something came and paid us a visit because it sounded like it was throwing it all over the place so i woke up and i came out take a look at everything uh but it was blowing the chairs around there were some strong winds and that sucks because this is this is actually peak season this is the week and because we've had so much rain um the leaves are actually falling early and from the storm last night a lot more leaves are off the branches and so it's kind of crappy i bet you last week it was nice um but i wasn't up but the colors that tree right there hopefully it gets some more branches now that a lot of the uh trees are removed and it gets more sun but it's it really when that's all the the leaves are still there it pops it's like you know the firecracker of the bunch it's all really nice red leaves that's why i left that one all right folks so i've been at it since early this morning probably like nine o'clock ten o'clock um one of my goals was to come up and run the gas line for the uh, wall heater because it was on its standalone propane tank. And then I have the hot water heater on its standalone propane tank. And then I have the uh, gas stove on actually all gassed into the 
into the cabin so oh of course nothing goes easy for me so I, I brought some new gas line i ran it let me show you what i got going on here show you how my cabin is uh plumbed with uh gas line let's go underneath so of course oh being six foot tall is never fun to go underneath the cabin All right, so now you missed all the work. I've been at it for hours. So this was the original one because the porch was in here and I just had the uh, two propane banks attached to the side of the academy, cabin like a uh, RV. Um, it has to switch to go to one tank to the other, just like an RV. So I had this pipe in the back running right here it fit, feeds the stove and that's pretty much all I had going on so today I had um, I, I left some spots to uh, pipe into for other things down the road I even have a split over there to run a pipe down that way if I ever did anything so I ran this pipe today and it goes down it's a gas shut off right there and it goes up and that is for the um wall unit and guess what it doesn't work i don't know what the deal is um oh jefferson she got it going thank god it's always a problem i guess it was the wall unit because I got it all hooked up, ready to rock, and it wouldn't start. But this is what ended up happening as well, is if you see, I bought enough pipe to run right out the side. But I ran into some issues. I need to get some longer pipe because that runs right into the sano tube that's over there. So I'm going to just extend that pipe out to have it take a right and go out that way. So, a long day of playing underneath the cabin and running pipe. But, Jeffrey just said the wall unit started up. So, I'm so happy because I must have redid everything like three times. I got plumber's dope all over my shirt that I'm pissed off about. Um, and my pants. So, so not now with that, it's done. And... It's, it's a check in the check box because that was the part I wanted to get done. I could actually just run it the rest of the winter like this if I want to. And by next spring, I do need to continue and set up propane on the side there so it's out from underneath my cabin. And I have another split to go to the hot water heater. So that's going to either, either happen next time we come up. I'll grab the stuff I need or it'll wait till the springtime. We'll see. But thank God she just said it was working because I'll tell you, it was it was aggravating. Aggravating. All right, let me try to get out of here without busting my head. Oh, my God. Ow. Oh. <clears throat> All right, I only, only popped my head twice. <laughs> All right, Jen, you said you got some good news? Yeah. I didn't do anything special. I just kept trying and started. Maybe it just needed a good burning. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'm happy to Kid see Kid you that. not. Not a joke. My son... <laughs> is a propane technician. This is what he does for a living, folks. You think he could find some time to come up and help his old man? Uh, if, it, if, we're, if we're not doing something fun at the cabin, he doesn't want no part of it, you know? Yeah, kids. Yeah, well, he's he's 28. He's not a kid. 27? Oh, I got me a year older. Um, all right, so let's go. Before everything closes... Let's get our butts in gear and let's take a run to town. Well, 
it's been one of those days um like it just got done here me complain about was the gas line um jen and i just went into town it is crazy in town all the leaf peepers are here and unfortunately they missed a good weekend um it probably was the best weekend you would have saw up in vermont was probably last weekend we weren't up here but by the looks of it you see all the tops are missing a lot of the leaves have fallen and it's due from just too much rain i can hear the um i can hear the creek running pretty hard i might go take a walk down and take a look at it Here's, a, here's my little spot I like to go. Let's go see the creek. Oh. Last year I was in here cleaning up this bunch of brush and all twigs and crap. I got to pull that out of there maybe next year. I would really like to clean this up. See, this tree's about to go as it's leaning. It's a widow maker. I'll probably get rid of these little trees. I'll clean all this up like I said before. Probably gonna make a little bridge, put a bench over there. But the creek is running. Well, Jennifer was just telling me she really wants to clean up the creek. Um, just, I, I don't know, like everything wants to fall into the creek. As you can see, look down. See the, see all those leaves and the trees. And so I gotta get down there, pull them out of there. Pull all this out so it stops damming it up. All this. There should only be rocks. <laughs> Now this would be a nice little spot for a uh, little cabin in the woods. Um, this is the, our cabin is straight up this trail. It's uh, this, we know this as Justice's trail, and this is the trail I walk Justice every morning to, uh, when she goes to use the bathroom. But this is tucked away in our 16.5 uh, acres, and it'd be nice to clear. Some of this out just put a very small little cabin somewhere um in here down the roads you know not i'm not talking about anytime soon i got enough on my plate but 
this would be a nice little spot. So maybe you can rent it out or when people come, they want to see what really off grid is. You stick them out here in the cabin with absolutely no electricity. They can stay out here. I don't know if you can hear that, but it sounds like some birds uh, alerting everyone I'm here or alerting me that there's something there. I don't know, but they just started flipping out. If you're a long time subscriber of the channel, you know this is known as the Four Corners. Because this is where all four corners of the property meet and the stone walls that divide the properties make, check it out, make four corners. Son of a bitch, it started raining. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining let's go sneak up in the cabin see what Chen's doing we'll look through the window be peeping toms Not watching TV. She's either sleeping or surfing the web. She's not in her chair. Where could she be? Oh, she's at the stove. God, I love this girl. See what she's doing. She's making something. Let's go to the other. I'm supposed to scare her. I don't scare her. I make noise so she knows we're here. What are you making? <laughs> she's making dinner. She's too much. All right, folks. Let me get in there, see what she's making. You want to come with me? All right, come on. Let's go see what she's doing. I gotta turn that generator over. Whew. Rain, 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 go away. That's stuff to do. Hopefully I don't got dirty boots. I gotta take my boots off. What are you making over here? Some mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes? Mm-hmm. Oh boy, what are we have for dinner? Steaks. Steaks, oh, 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 oh. You didn't have lunch. I didn't eat lunch, except for that cookie. Yeah. Only the finest dishes I see. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. Let me, um, we didn't do any work up here. We're, we really need to get some more. I think I got two more boards, um, but I need quite a few more, like I said. But it's getting there. It is getting there. I can't wait. Um, may, probably next time I'm up, we'll finish it up. And I'll, I'll shoot my uh, year four, I think it is, um, tour video. So far, I started in July, late July. I think it was late July. Um, for four years, I've been building this cabin on weekends only. And, um, and we really have enjoyed the cabin and the build and everything. It really keeps us busy. 
keeps us going. Um, and I, I don't know, I really enjoy working on it and seeing the progress in knowing this is, you know, what they say, the fruits of your labor. I mean, like you see it, I see it, I see it weekly. Like, you know, you just gotta do it. Not like the ceiling, I, I put that shit off way too long. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you gotta just do it. And I can't tell you how many weekends, how many weekends I have wasted watching TV, playing video games, laying around the house with the attitude of, oh, I worked 40 plus hours this week. Uh, this is my time to relax. This is my time to rest up. You got plenty of rest when you're dead. And uh, you know what? We, we're here only a short, short amount of time. So, you know, make do something with your life. Get up. I would love to motivate a couple people. I have done that already. Believe it or not, my little YouTube video has a couple of viral videos that hit, you know, 80,000 views. And I have, I don't know what I have. I have like, what I got? 4,000 subscribers, 3,000 subscribers, something like that. And I have so many good emails that people have thanked me for motivating them. There's people, one person in particular, made a cabin that looks exactly like mine because they watched this YouTube channel. I have an, um, two other ones say that I inspire them to go out, buy some property, and build their own uh, cabin. Um, and there, there, there's countless others just thanked me to motivate them to do something similar. They always wanted to do it. And when they started researching it, just like Jen and I did um, five years ago, you know, it was new to us and we went on YouTube and we found a couple uh, YouTube uh, sites that motivated me saying, I could do that. I know I talked about this before, but I always give a shout out to my boy Joe over at St. Bernard Acres because at the time I, I searched every every um, key word I could think of and there was just a handful I don't know why the algorithm was different five years ago there's only a handful of do-it-yourself cabin videos that would come up Joe has a very simple cabin he made and I watched every single thing every step every year of his progress and I said I'm gonna do that next I'm gonna do this next and I followed along in pretty much his footsteps I learned things as I went along. I did learn, go big. You always wanna go big. You don't have to go crazy, especially if it's just like uh, you and your partner, but you wanna go big. Cause Jen and I started off, we wanted something very small. We went big and we're happy we did because we already want more space uh, for when friends visit and stuff like that. But you know, mostly it's just Jen and I up here in the lawful, Fit eight. We can have people sleep on the lazy boys. We now have the screen and porch and nicer weather. People could sleep out there. We have a couple of cots, so we can make make do with what we have. But I remember after watching a couple of uh, videos, I went to go build a shed at my house because I went to go buy one. It was ridiculous for these small little sheds. They don't come with a floor. They don't come with the roof. So I said, I'm gonna build my own. I, I watched what Joe did and I built my shed is a little bit smaller than probably Joe's original cabin and So he motivated me to do that and once I did that I said let's do it I could build a cabin I believe I researched the hell out of it hours of googling and buying books and Internet and my I have a couple friends that are uh, Carpenters I would go to them to seek advice and stuff like that a lot of a lot of people know that um, My grandfather was a master carpenter. He built his own home I was blessed to be able to live with my grandfather He kept I think that's why I have the motivation and I have the uh, drive and I have the uh, don't lay around attitude get up and do something Can my grandfather I'll put up a picture of him I live with him I think since I was in like seventh grade and um, he would come in I would be trying to be lazy on a weekend he'd come in and he'd be smoking his pipe and he'd be getting it nice and hot and he would walk over to me and say gonna get up got work to do and work for him was cut the grass go out and tinker in this garage you know just get up stop being lazy and I would be like, leave me alone. And you take that pipe and start trying to touch me with it. <laughs> that gets you out of bed. Um, he would laugh like hell. 
Also, he would grab some water and throw water on me. I hated that because you don't want your sheets ever to get wet because then you cannot continue to be lazy and sit in your bed. Um, but yeah, that's what gave me the drive. That's what gives me the drive. So I think I, I learned that stuff for him, from him. A lot, of, a lot of life lessons learned from that man. Um, yeah, so my father also, he was a, always a uh, handyman, handyman around the house. He knew a little bit of everything, kind of like me. And they would not spend the money for to seek out a professional to help them do anything in the house, except for some electricity. They would always go, and he had a friend, and he would come over and do it. But that's me rambling and rambling. But yeah, Joe. Joe was probably the biggest motivating um, one um, because he didn't go too crazy. Some of these channels, you know, they're busting out tools from like 19, uh, stuff my grandfather started with, like, you know, 1936. There are all these hand tools that you, you, you know, you got your hand saw, you got this and that. Um, and it take it'll probably take me 300 years to finish a cabin and they, you know they, they're cutting down their own uh their own trees on their property and they're milling it oh, more power to you and that those those cabins look beautiful absolutely beautiful and the craftsmanship that went into it awesome awesome but not not my style of what what my skill level maybe down the road sometime but you know i'm more of a let's get it done not you know, let me blow out my shoulder with this handsaw. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know if that's all true because man, you know, if you guys follow cabin videos, you know who I'm talking about. There's a couple of people trying to do that now. And man, they use no electric tools and or battery power, nothing like that. And, and you know, the, every weekend they, they shoot some video and you know, in no time at all, they got a beautiful cabin. And it's crazy. It's crazy to me. Uh So uh, we went ahead and put the little uh, metal molding around. Um, of course, the box isn't 100% true square because uh, the way you mount it, you gotta go up in there and you screw it in and, and it probably tweaked it just a little. So back here, there's a little bit of a gap. Um, I, I painted a bunch of nice screws um, black. And guess what? They're too short. I can't win. So we had some uh, decorative screws that I bought to hang things in the cabin um, that you might see the screw head. I don't know, over there, I got a couple pictures. Uh, I use those. They came, they work very nicely. And Jen had a black magic marker and we just went ahead and colored the heads. They were like a uh, antique brownish. We just colored it black. I ha there's more screw holes. I'm gonna just put four screws in for now. Excuse me. And uh, it looks fine. I like it. It looks a lot better um, than it was. And we'll just go with that for now. What do you think about this week? I'm uh, filming here, Jennifer. <laughs> 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 what do I think about what, Jennifer? Let's go see what she's talking about. Yes, Jennifer. Hanging my oh. little bear there. We Hanging your bear? In the forest. Mm. No. You can. It's your um, cabin. No, I don't know. Do whatever you want. I wish I had a little one here. That would be cute. A little big one. Room. Me and you. Yeah. All right. Prepping to go home. Got the generator going. Topping off the batteries. Ah, I left the damn light on. Um, all right. What we're going to do now is... We're going to shut off the water right now to the tanks. Okay. Now we're going to purge the uh, the system over here and see what happens.
see if the pump is going to pump everything out of the uh, filters. Should, at least. It's too cold to get my hands cold. <laughs> All right, Jen, run. Let's run the last little bit out of the sink here. Let me go run the shower, see what shower will purge out. That's that's all that was in the line. All right, I have nothing. So basically, now the pump just pumped everything out of anything, anything past the pump. You could shut the off the pump now, Jen. Just leave the um. All right, I'll unplug it. Now, all the water, there's still water in the lines. You have to blow them out with a compressor. I don't have a compressor um, inlet to blow out the lines. Probably have to add one to the cabin. Um, when I disconnect the hot water heater, I might be able to go through that way and blow some more of the water that's sitting somewhere in the lines out through um, the fixtures. But let me see what, what I could get into over there. I gotta remove all the filters, take everything down. All right, so I got a, I got this hose. I, of course I couldn't thread it on because the pipe is tight to the ground. This is so stiff and it has this big fancy coupler and it wouldn't go on. So it's leaking a little. It's gonna pretty much leak a lot. There's a lot of gallons of water. here releases any pressure in the line pull this off let's see if it's filled with water or the pump pushes up okay. show you this there's definitely some water I'm collecting see that I don't know why it's collecting like that when we dump it I got water that's from that's from I think next year I'll, I'll, I'll build a little overhang for this so the water doesn't uh, when I take it home to the shop I'll clean it all up there's a drain valve on the bottom I did it over there nothing came out 
It, yeah, it's, it's going down pretty good. <laughs> it's crazy. Let me show you. So it's going down. I mean, this thing was filled to the very top just this morning. So today that will be done. This one over here. This one over here hasn't been operational. It's probably stagnant. It has I haven't had water going into it. I plan on removing the gutter up to there because I've been having some trouble with the snow collecting right there. That's why a lot of Vermonters do not have gutters because what will happen, you'll cause ice dams. Ice dams will go underneath your shingles and you'll end up with having, uh, you know, water working its way back in under the roof and uh, and then you'll end up you ever go into a house that had ice dams you have big spots on this kitchen ceiling and stuff that's because the water pretty much wicks or goes back in and you don't want that so i have a metal roof so that's a plus a second thing is i have ice and water shield down underneath my roof I did the whole thing most people only do the first three feet because when the dams come they'll back up about three feet underneath the roof I was I screw it I just did the whole roof to protect the uh, plywood Whew. all right folks that's the end of this episode thanks for joining us on yet another great episode of Liberty Creek give me that thumbs up hit that notification bell do all those good things for me hit subscribe if you're not a subscriber and we'll see you probably in a couple weeks have a blessed one, everyone. Thanks again. Peace.